SeatGeek. For all your ticketed events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? I'm your host, that Gwen that got the Austin awesome on the Big Cat. My cool cat, put your paws on there if you're rocking with the Big Cat today. We're going to talk about Carolina Panther getting their first win. That's right, we holding boulders on them things. But first, one quick question before we get started. Do you love the Carolina Panther like I love the Carolina Panther? W side, that's right, the winning side. Do you love the Carolina Panther like I love the Panther? If you love the Carolina Panther like I love the Carolina Panther, give me the dab. That's right, give me the dab. Listen, man, that's a, that's a pop of flair <laughs> going on with this team. Let me tell you what this win means for the Carolina Panthers. Let's get into it. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Now, we're going to talk about yesterday's game, but we got to start off with a couple of apologies. We're talking about Nerve Turner. That's right. We're changing Nerve Turner because he used to get on our nerves back to North. North, I apologize, my brother. I'm a big cat, and I got to admit that I was wrong so far. Let me, let me take it back. So far, I'm wrong. But what North Turner was able to do for Kyle Allen... <laughs> He was a, a quarterback whisperer of sorts. Shout out to Scott Turner, too. Yeah. It was hard on, on baby boy, too. I was hard on daddy's son. But check this out. North Turner's offense was, quote, unquote, to blame for the first two losses, right? I'm walking those statements back. Yeah, I got to walk it back a little bit. The execution of this playbook by Kyle Allen with a quarterback with a healthy arm was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I mean, and, and here, here's my thing. This is what I love about North Turner. The first half, he didn't just open the playbook up, taking deep shots. He eased them in there. That's the reason why the game was so close on offense for the first half. He eased them in there, and that's what a good coordinator does. You don't throw your quarterback to the woods and say, all right, go make a play from the first play. That's not how you play it. You ease him in there. You get a feel of what he's doing good. By the third quarter coming, by the third quarter came, my man was making the out, bro. Deep, bro. Slant, bro. He was just doing everything possible, and I love that about him. So, Norm, yes, I was wrong about your offense. Kyle Allen looked amazing. And maybe it has, well, I know it has a lot to do with him being healthy and accurate as well. You're going to learn today. Now, let's move on to Kyle Allen. Yes. <laughs> Four touchdowns, 261 passing yards. Kyle rocked the cradle Allen. Will Greer, who? This is what we kind of were expecting out of Will Greer coming into the season. Kind of show this, but Kyle Allen said, ah, don't forget about me just yet. Kyle Allen was able to take North Turner offense, execute it. Accurate, precision, dime. Anybody got changed for a quarter? Nope, all I got is dime. That's what he was throwing. Yeah, yeah, he looked good, didn't he? He looked real good. This, listen, this team has not seen an accurate arm and no shade at anybody, but an accurate arm for a while. And listen, I, I know I'm drinking the Kool-Aid after one game. A lot of you guys out there saying Arizona was a rebuilding team. Arizona ain't got nobody. Let me tell you something. This is the professional football league, national football league. They got Hall of Famer Larry Fitzgerald. They got a good running back, David Johnson. Okay? I know Patrick Peterson hurt. You got, uh, you got Chandler out there, Terrell Suggs. You got veterans that have been proven on this team. So I don't want to hear this crap about it's a rebuilding team, and yeah, all that is true. And I even go one, I'll even go one step further. With Kyle Allen not even having a lot of tape on him other than the preseason in the New Orleans Saints game, I think he had an advantage. There wasn't a whole lot of tendency on him versus somebody else who would have been in a, uh, a starting line like Cam Newton. There's a lot of film out there on him, so maybe maybe the tendencies weren't able to be picked up fast enough. But either way you slice it, you still gotta go out there and execute. You're talking about ice water in your vein. You're talking about a chill about him. The offense looked fun. Guys were dapping each other up. Thought I was at a black barbecue. <laughs> yeah, they were dapping, high-fiving, dancing. I mean, it was just such a spectacle to see, man. I love it, man. I mean, the synchronization. And listen, shout out to Arizona because they bottled Caffrey up for the first half. Yeah, Caffrey got bottled up. They bottled him up, but guess what? You can't hold a good brother down. And that's what Christian Caffrey proved. Because guess what? He 86 up out that hole. Yeah, yeah. He was a splash. All right, all right, all right. And I got to give credit to the coaching staff for putting Greg Little in there. Him and Darrell Williams rotated in a couple times. Darrell Williams gave up a sack. Greg Little looked good, man. Okay, when we traded up multiple draft picks to get him, it was for these kind of reasons. When your backup, is, uh, when your backup quarterback is in there, we need a rock. 
you know, coming into the uh, coming out of the draft, he said he wanted to be Cam Newton's blind side, keep him healthy. Well, guess what, man? You're keeping Kyle Allen healthy. He did a good job so far. After one game, I, like I said, I want to pump my brakes, but everybody is looking cohesive. Everybody's looking good. It looks good. It looks good. So you know the big question is coming. How long do we ride this wave? Well, I said we ride it as long as it's still riding high. That's my answer. Okay, no need to make any kind of drastic changes. You don't want to mess with their chemistry. Everybody's having fun. And not only that, the defense fed off the energy of the offense. Yeah, something that hasn't been there for a while. The first two games, the defense hanging with their tongues out, doing the best they can, just trying to survive. Now, they got reciprocated. Yeah, they got reciprocated. The offense went out there and did their thing, and that led to Mario Addison, three sack on the day. Dante Jackson, two INTs. The whole unit as a whole, eight sacks. Yes, it was just energetic. I mean, what more can you ask for? All started by that offense. And I got to apologize. Here's my next apology. I got to apologize to you, Kyle. Yeah, Kyle, I got to apologize to you. I said you were a game manager. I said don't expect much out of him. Yeah, don't expect much out of him. And guess what? Kudos to Norb Turner for easing him in there. Because after that strip sack, I said, oh, here we go again. Kept his composure. Joe Cool. Joe Cool. Yeah. Kept his composure, did his thing. And guess what? Not only did he make the simple passes, he was throwing dots out there. And like I said before, of course, it's the Arizona corner. Of course, it's not a whole lot of tape out there on him. But when preparation meets execution, these are the kind of results you get. That boy is good. To wrap things up, we got to at least go two and one, y'all. Two and one, we got we got Houston, Jacksonville, then we got Tampa Bay. We got to go two and one over the next three games at worst. Three and zero. I think we can go three and zero. Kyle Allen has showed us that he's capable of handling this shit while Cam is dying. You know what I mean? So as long as we play to the best of our potential, you know, the first two games we beat ourselves. Now, now give credit to the team we played, but let's not get let's not get too carried away. We weren't executing like we were like we we're capable of executing. Okay, so with that being said, I think we go three and zero, but two and one at worst. I think we'll be all right. This office has come alive. This locker room has come alive. The fan base has come alive. I'm ready for the long haul. I'm ready for the stretch, y'all. You know, we got a quarterback out there that's throwing dots. We got the boys out there that found their footing back when it comes to blocking for him. CMC does what he does best, just a workhorse. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. And I know it's after one game. And no, I won't pipe down. For two straight weeks, we've been dealing with fucking talking about who's going to get fired, who's going to get traded, all that. We've been talking about that. So, no, I will not excuse my happiness, and nor should you. Get in the comment section. I'm your host, El Grande Gato, also known as the Big Cat. My cool guy, put the balls in there. If you're rocking with the Big Cat, make sure you subscribe. Get in the comment section. Where do we go from here? What do you think about the performance? Was I wrong about North Turner? Were you wrong about North Turner? And I think Ron Rivera just saved his ass just a little bit longer. I'm your host, El Grande Gato. Make sure you subscribe. Let the church say that. Don't forget to subscribe to the Carolina Panthers custom helmet giveaway video in the playlist. Once we hit 5,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away free a $300 retail value Marvel's Avenger Carolina Panthers helmet. Keep pounding.